Hey everyone, I'm Alex, this is Megan. Um, welcome. Uh, we're really excited to do this collaboration with Big Truck Big RV. Uh, we love watching his videos and tours of all sorts of really cool campers he gets to see. Um, so today we're going to show you our camper that we just bought um, about a month ago. It's a, a 2021 Keystone Hideout 26 BHWE. Um, so, so yeah. So currently we are parked at our house in Tacoma, Washington. We usually pull the trailer onto the side of our house and it stays here all year. We are part-time campers, mostly on the weekends and some long extended stays, but mostly on the weekends. Um, so we just got back from uh, <clears throat> Beaver Bay, which was in Cougar, Washington, which was a okay campground. It was dry camping. Um, wasn't the nicest place, but uh, it was beautiful. It was very beautiful. The lake was very beautiful. Um, we had a good time camping and uh, going out on the boat. Um, so one thing we do is we keep a Google spreadsheet of all of our camping trips, you know, past and future, and inside it um, we keep track of, you know, places we like to go to, places we didn't like to go to. Um, how we also really cool to do this spreadsheet is to keep track of the mileage on the camper. So we can track how much uh, usage is done on the tires and the axles. Um, so that's a really cool thing we use the Google spreadsheet for. Also, um, it calculates distance and calculates you know how long it's going to take us to get to these destinations. It's a great way to keep track of the wear and tear we put on our camper and how much we put it through. So quick rundown. Um, so we have a 2016 Silverado. Uh, 2,500. Um, the towing capacity of that truck is 1,400 pounds. It's a crew cab truck. Um, it's a really great truck for towing the camper. Uh, has lots of power. Uh, we debated a lot. This truck is gas and we debated a lot about buying gas versus diesel. Um, and we pretty much went with gas because it was cheaper. And we carry gas with us um, for the generator. So it made sense. To get a gas truck or carrying gas so that's the reason we went with that um, the truck you know definitely has a lot of power uh, it can tow 14,000 pounds and which the trailer gross vehicle weight is only six seven thousand six hundred and twenty so definitely pulls the trailer with no problem so I would highly recommend if you're gonna be towing a trailer that has a you know, gross vehicle weight rating of 7,000. A three quarter ton truck is definitely the way to go. So this is the outside tour of our 2021 uh, Keystone Hideout 26 uh, BHWE. So first thing we want to show you is on our slide is we added a slide topper to the roof. Um, the power inputs down here for our 30 amp shore power. Underneath here is the black and gray tank flush which we keep our water, sewer hoses, and all of our tools in this storage compartment back here. Moving around to the back side of the camper, um, we have our city water connection and our utility or outside shower. It's pre-wired for the Furion backup camera. And we move on to this side. We have electric stabilizers. So you just push the button to extend and retract those. That's a really nice feature. Um, your black tank flush is here. Awning, this is the back of the uh, refrigerator. Has speakers, vent for the stove. This is your heater and your stove vents. The fresh water fill is out here. There's a power outlet, TV hookup, and your back your hot water tank. Um, this is a window to the kitchen, your door. Um, here is the LCI solid steps that came with the camper. Um, here is a pass-through storage which we keep our barbecue, our wheel chocks, our leveling blocks. All that stuff is in there. And then if we move around to the front of the camper, it has electric jack, two seven-gallon propane tanks, um, battery, our weight distribution. Uh, mounts are on here as long as we also added a leveler to help us level the camper when we're uh, setting it up. 
Okay, moving over to just this side here. We'll take a look at the numbers of the camper. So the GVWR is 7,620 pounds. And I'll give you some other the other numbers. I'll put in the link of the video here. Um, you can look at those numbers. Um, but then moving on is our pass-through storage. More junk, our weight distribution's in there. Uh, our X-Chocks, those things are there. And then um, over here is our slide. And you'll see that's a, underneath there is a rack and pinion slide. So we're inside our 26 bunkhouse. Um, so we're going to first look at our control panel over here. We have all of our tank monitors, our pump, our hot water tanks, which I added these little LED lights in there so I could tell if the hot water tanks were on or off. Slide controls and awning controls are down here. We also added a little sticker here to show the capacity of each of the lights of the tanks. So that's really helpful when we're boondocking. Um, here is all of our light controls. We added this little carrier right here. Um, over on this side is our entertainment center. It has upgradable Wi-Fi module that you can buy extra, which we haven't done yet. We put in a 43 inch TV um, and we have pretty much our entertainment center. Down here is a switch which controls whether you run the fireplace or the air conditioner. So you can only have one on at a time. Kitchen's pretty basic, has a sink, has a really cool uh, vac room. I think it's like a central vac, has a hose under the couch. Um, that's pretty cool. Cabinets, uh, we added a power strip over here. We also added this IKEA rack and the magnetic holder. Has a fan, microwave. Um, I think it's a Furion stove, which is pretty nice. Works really well. Um, refrigerator, I think is an eight cubic foot refrigerator, freezer. Um, so that's that. Um, moving on to the kitchen, your controls for your AC, ducted AC and your heater, the gas heater is right here. Um, we have a nice little pantry which keep all of our food and towels in. All right, welcome to the bathroom of our trailer. So first thing we upgraded in the trailer was we added a vent cover. This is so we could leave this vent open while we drive, which is really nice. The bathroom has lots of good lighting in here, cabinet. We added this little rack thing to hold our toothpaste, toothbrushes and stuff. Has a power outlet, sink, storage under the sink, which we keep our chemicals and toilet paper down there. Um, the toilet is a porcelain toilet which was different from our last camper which are usually the plastic ones so that's an upgrade we added this IKEA rack which is really handy for storing all our shavers and uh, q-tips and things like that the shower is very tiny but it works um, we upgraded the handle down here so we had it hot and cold separate but now we have one which is way easier to pick a temperature we also added a different shower head, which is really nice in the camper. Um, we also added this little holder for our shampoos up here. And there's also a trash can behind the uh, toilet back there, which is nice. Uh, this camper has two bunk beds. I think they're a full size bunk beds with the ladder. It has a power outlet. Uh, both bunks have lights. Only the top bunk has a AC ducted vent. And then we also added this USB outlet, which we have a video on our channel if you want to see how we did that. And we added this little storage bin for people to store their cell phones and other accessories. We just got these little fans too while it's hot. Nice to have. And this bunk does have a blinds cover. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, this is the dinette, which does fold down into a bed. Under each of these benches, there is storage underneath. Uh, blinds, windows, these two outer windows do open. The couch um, is a jackknife couch which just can you fold down into a bed. It's really comfortable. We really like it and there's also storage underneath the couch. Alright, now we're in the bedroom of our camper. So we got this small TV and this mount we bought on Amazon which is really nice. We could watch uh, TV in bed. Uh, really nice about this camper, it does have doors that close, so it gives us a little more privacy when we have other people camping with us. 
under the bed um, this does lift up for storage underneath um, and this bed is a combination of uh, Amazon like a Casper mattress foam gel and then we also added a topper to the top of the mattress so it makes it really comfortable um, okay moving around here not much um, I have a trash can on my side uh, we also added USB outlets down below um, so we can charge our phones while we're boondocking it does have a regular outlet we use when we're hooked up to shore power in the closet Megan had put these hanging racks in here I think they're from Ikea uh, which is really nice to store your clothes behind there there's also another tote storage um, we use for storage and just recently I added a shelf to the top of these closets which is very nice um, another upgrade I did was just add these night lights which is really nice for at night to have a little bit of ambient light in here um, also this shelf wasn't very secure so I added another piece of wood inside of here uh, which now makes this shelf a lot more secure and I think that's it for the bedroom so we absolutely love the RV lifestyle we have had so much fun um, we have enjoyed just going new places we spend most of the time in Washington we find a campground and then we can see whatever's nearby we've seen abandoned train tunnels and waterfalls and whatever is in the area we, we've just had a really fun time exploring um, we feel we can go anywhere uh, we've taken the trailer to my family who lives in Idaho and we've stayed there it's actually saved us a lot of money on hotels and it's more comfortable it's our own space um, we've absolutely enjoyed it we would love to do more trips in it uh, one of the things that we don't like about the RV lifestyle um, is it's really hard to find reservations especially right now during the COVID stuff it is extremely hard to get reservations in the places there's not a lot of dispersed camping in Washington that we found um, so yeah that's one of the things that we do not like um, another thing that's really hard is uh, reservations a lot of the places you have to reserve over the phone um, and it's really funny I think like 95% of the places you call they don't answer so you have to leave a message or if they do have a website I think we even found one that they wanted us to mail in our request for a reservation yeah it was you can print it out and mail it in I was just like what what is this you know it's just the reservation process for camping is just really bad um, hopefully someday it'll be fixed but uh, right now it's just it's one of our dislikes is trying to find reservations it's hard um, you have to call the place, you know, and, and sometimes we came across like they say they have hookups, which means to them they have water and power, and then they have a sewer dump station somewhere else. So it's one thing to watch out for. So if you do follow our channel, um, we really like doing lots of, you know, upgrade things in our camper. You know, we find new things. Um, I think someday, you know, maybe we'll do the Wi Fi upgrade. Um, Someday I do want to put a backup camera on this unit, but the one we had last camper, the backup camera was horrible, so we don't want to do the same one again. So we're looking for a solution for the backup camera. Um, <clears throat> we're going to install a propane quick connection on this camper um, so we can easily plug in the barbecue and easily plug in the uh, camp stove. Um, I have a really cool solution. For the DVD player, um, one thing about this camper is there's no like good place for a DVD player, so I have an idea of what I want to do, and I'll probably make a video on how I'm going to do that. We also have upgraded our cushions for the dinette. Um, we use I think it's the Foam Factory website has really good uh, seat cushions. Um, <clears throat> other things we're going to upgrade. I think when you want to add some lights to the closets. And um, on the outside, this camper does have a LED white strip light, which is nice, but also really sucks because it attracts bugs. So I plan on putting a yellow light on the outside. So that's all coming up in our channel, and we'll definitely show you some more of our camping trips, camping upgrades. So 
Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed the tour of our camper.